Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadget and today I'm going to be showing you how to use two finger gestures to control your Mac. So for this guide, you'll need to have at least OS X 10.10, which is Yosemite. The application that we're going to be using is called River Flow. You can find it for free either on their website or you can download it directly from a link over at Gadget Once you download it, it'll exist as a menu bar application. So if you click on it, you'll be able to enable it and also check out some of the preferences. So click on that. When you open up the window, you'll be able to select launch at login and you'll also be able to check for automatic updates for Riverflow. You can then click on gestures and you'll find presets for global and finder. If you set any gestures for global, that means it'll work across your entire computer. So it doesn't matter if you're in Spotify or you're in Photoshop. Whenever you use the two finger gesture, it'll work across the entire computer. From there, whatever app you wanna add, all you have to do is click on the plus sign and then you'll be taken to your application so you can select any of them. I'm gonna choose Chrome and Spotify, but I'll be focusing more on Spotify. So here are two gestures that I've created. When you use these gestures, you use them with two fingers and you use them on your trackpad. So I'll be showing you that in a little bit. Here's one that I've already created. This is to go to the next song and I also created a shortcut to go back to the last song. So click on the plus sign right here and here you can select the gesture that you want to use on the trackpad. There are 17 to choose from. So I'm gonna select this one and then you can give it a title. So I'm gonna be creating a shortcut to mute the song. So I'm gonna call it mute. From there you can select the action that you want. Other than keyboard shortcut, you can also open a URL or open a file as well as run a shell or Apple script if you wanna mess around with that. I'm just gonna do a keyboard shortcut. So now I'm gonna enter it. So I click on here and the command for mute in Spotify is command shift down. So I've entered it and I'm gonna press okay. So now I have three gestures and I'm gonna show you guys all three of those in Spotify. Okay, so a song is playing in the background and the first gesture that I'm gonna be using is the one to go to the next song. So here you can see my finger on the trackpad and you can see that the song skipped. So now I'm gonna skip back to the last song and you can see that each time you do that, a window will appear for a like around a second. And so finally I'm gonna use the one for mute, which was a triangle. And you can see that the song muted. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to use so you gotta get accustomed to it and you gotta learn uh, which way it works exactly on your trackpad because I had some difficulty with certain gestures. Alright, well that's it. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex. See you.